Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. We have a little issue now, um, and this is getting quite silly. This really is getting silly. This issue of whether the President Biden is alive or not, or is he uh, in a coma? Is he is he suffering from a stroke? Something weird. Kamala Harris yesterday at the White House was giving a conference, and then they had Joe live on the phone. And what you heard was Joe Biden saying, well done, well done. Two things. Firstly, Joe Biden didn't speak like that. If ever you go and watch this Kamala Harris thing, Joe Biden doesn't speak like that. Joe Biden speaks like, you, you know, uh, like this. He's very weak, very rasping voice now. He's, he's a very quiet man. Speak, you know, uh, 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 like this, hesitant. And also, he's just had COVID, so he should be even weaker. What we heard on that phone call was a man who was full of energy, vital with it. Oh, yeah, we're still with you. We're still there. Oh, yes, you've always been fam like family to me. Blah, blah, blah. It's suspicious. Straight away, when I heard that voice, I went, that ain't Joe Biden, number one. And then Kamala Harris lets the truth out. She says, oh, Joe, you're still there on the... And she says, wreck uh, call. Wreck call. You're still there on the recording and caught herself. What does she know? Does she know his condition? Does she know that he's carked it? Does she know he's lying in a bed comatose and they're having to fake this? Let's face it, you can get fake AI voices now. Or you can get impressionists. And it's done over the phone. Could have been a video call. We live in the future now, don't we? You've got Zoom. You know, you could do a, a WhatsApp video call. But no, just some random voice out of the ether that doesn't sound much like the Joe Biden from a few days ago. Yeah. Pull the other one. It's got bells on. This is bollocks. I'm, I'm starting actually now... It's six days. I'm actually starting now to believe the conspiracy theories. Something has happened to Biden. And they don't want the world to know. Now, some people say, well, it's none of our business, the man's health. I would suggest this is the most powerful man in the world, in the most powerful position in the world, and he's got his finger on the nuclear button. He is commander-in-chief of the world's biggest military. This man needs to be wide awake. He needs to be in the wide awake club. He needs to be seen. He needs to put confidence, not just into America, into NATO, into the Western world, that somebody has got their hand on the tiller of the American um, military, for example, or of the American economy, or of the American justice system. I'm not usually one that would randomly jump on a conspiracy theory, but this one is starting to take shape, isn't it? We've gone through all the other things. The signature that's not his signature, written on paper that isn't the, you know, his official paper. I have a letter upstairs from the president, Bill Clinton. It came on nice sort of golden cream paper. It had the gold seal of the President of the United States at the top of it. It was typed on a proper typewriter, not a printer. And at the bottom, hand-signed by Clinton himself. That's the sort of letter you get from the President of the United States. Not just something printed off on an office printer. And then, apparently, it wasn't even hand-signed. It was a digital signature. It's suspicious. It's suspicious as hell. And I think increasingly, as the time goes on, as the hours and minutes go on, the longer we don't see him up and about and making a statement, the more likely it is that he's either dead, in a coma, or had a stroke. And they need to be open and honest, not just with the American people, but with the people of the world. Because the president's health has security implications for everyone. And if he is unwell like that, they need to 25th him, put Kamala in as the 47th president for the six months that's remaining, and then let Donald R. Trump get in and take over 
and run America from the 20th of January, is it? But, yeah, there is something deeply, deeply wrong in the state. I believe there is, perhaps, beneath the surface, there is dark forces. I think, perhaps, the dark forces within the American state don't want Kamala, even a sniff of presidency. They don't want her to become the president, even for those six months. Perhaps the state doesn't trust her. I know Obama doesn't. This is this is well known. This is this isn't speculation. This is a well known thing. Obama doesn't like her or trust her. Um, people in the White House don't like or trust her, and I think there is some kind of Leviathan going on. And if you ever read the book, it is a fantastic book, and it's about the the state beneath the state and how all these things coalesce behind the scenes, and that there is this power base that nobody ever sees that runs these things. It's a, it's a fantastic book. Um, and I think that that is what's happening, and the Leviathan has stirred, and the Leviathan has said, no, we will not have this. We will fake Biden. Wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing doubles, like uh, Putin has doubles, and uh, Saddam Hussein had doubles. Wouldn't surprise me if there was a few Biden doubles popping up here, there, and everywhere. Um just to sort of pretend that he's somehow fit to hold office. That's This is seriously where I'm going. And I'm not normally one who jumps on conspiracy theories. It's suspicious. And they're doing nothing. Nothing is coming out of the White House. They're confirming or denying nothing. You're getting senior news people, senior media, both sides. You know, ones that are sort of pro-Republican uh, and others that are pro-Democrat. Uh, All sides of the political spectrum are there. They're asking, they're inquiring, and they're not getting the answers they want. And when there is a vacuum, and as we know, nature abhors a vacuum, but so do the new services. When there's a vacuum, that is always going to be filled with speculation and conspiracy theories. And that is precisely and exactly what is happening right now. And I know I'm not helping by adding to it, but I'm not, I'm not offering my opinion on whether it is true or not. I'm not. I'm saying that I'm tending to start to believe it. But the facts speak for themselves. He's not been seen. Not his signature. Not his official paper. Probably not his voice. And absolute radio silence from everyone involved. Make your own mind up. Thank you very much for listening. Take care and goodbye.